Hey everyone, welcome back to the Weeble tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to learn how to place trailing stops on the Weeble desktop app. Now, although it's not as advanced as some of the other platforms out there, it is actually very simple to do in here. But first off, it's important to remember that a trailing stop is typically used to close out of a position you already hold in your account. Rather than using a typical stop order, which requires you to set a specific price, you're instead going to set a dollar or percentage amount you'd like to get stopped out at instead. As the stock goes up in value, your stop moves up along with it. Now there are a few different ways to create a trailing stop inside of here. The very first way is actually from the accounts tab on the left hand side. Now I'm sure you already are familiar with this page. This is your accounts page. It gives you a nice little overview of what is going on in your account right now. What positions do I hold? What orders do I have out there? How's my account doing? That kind of stuff. From here on the right hand side, we can see all of my current positions and I currently only have one. You can see I've got one share of SWN. It's currently $4.20 and I own it at $4.93. So let's say I wanted to put a trailing stop on SWN. I want to get stopped out if SWN ever goes down 5%. Now in order to do that, all I have to do is right click on the position. So in this case, SWN. From there, you're going to see a drop down menu comes up. All we have to do is click on close position. Once we do that, an order entry pop-up window is going to come up on our screen. From there, we can see exactly what we're doing. We're saying we want to sell a share of SWN. And right now it's a limit order at $4.23. All we have to do is change the order type from limit to trailing stop. So again, just click on the order type limit. In that drop down menu, you're going to go down to the very bottom and click on trailing stop. Now, once you click on trailing stop, you're going to be able to put in the trailing amount just to the right of that. Now, the trailing amount can either be in dollars and cents or in percentages. So let's say, for example, I wanted to put a $1 trailing stop in here. I simply click in this box and type in one. Now from here, if I was to actually place this, what I'm saying is if SWN ever drops a dollar, get me out of it. Now right now the stock is trading at $4.22, which means when I place this, my trailing stop is going to go in at $3.22, $1 behind the current price. However, as the stock goes up, and hopefully it does go up, my stop is going to be moving up along with it. So as the stock goes up, let's say it goes from $4.24 all the way up to $5. My trailing stop, which was $3.24, has now moved up to $4, always following the stock by $1. Now let's say it does go up to $5, but then from there it starts to go back down and it goes all the way back down to $4. I will get stopped out. Now you also have the ability to set a percentage offset as well. All we have to do to change it to a percentage amount is click on this little dollar sign to the right. Once you click on it, it changes to a percentage sign. And in my example, I said I wanted it to trail by 5%, so we're going to go ahead and hit this a couple times. And now I am saying, if SWN ever drops 5%, get me out of this position. And just like before, as SWN goes up in value, my stop will move up along with it, only stopping me out if SWN ever drops 5% in value. Now, the only annoying thing with a Weeble is the fact that I cannot make this good until canceled. The only time in force available is a day order. So if I wanted this to go out again tomorrow, I'd have to come back in here and do it again. It doesn't fill tomorrow, I'd have to do it again the next day and the next day and so on. Also, it's important to remember that there is no extended session for trailing stops or stops of any kind. This order type will only be good during regular market hours. Any movement, let's say due to earnings after the market closes, is going to have no impact. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Trailing stops or stops of any kind will not work in the after hours. Now, we'll go ahead and exit out of this just to get a little bit more practice with it. Again, all I had to do was come over here to my positions, SWN, and right click on it. From there, I just go to close position. And you're going to see the little pop-up window right here. I come over here to the word limit and change it to a trailing stop. From there, I either set my dollar offset or my percentage offset that I want to get stopped out at. Then once I'm happy with it, and we'll go ahead and throw in five here. All I have to do is hit place order. I get a little order confirmation box. I just want to make sure everything looks right. Since it does, I'm going to go ahead and hit sell. Now from there, you can see the order ticket down here below in my working order section. You can see it still says the exact same thing as before. I'm trying to sell one share of SWN with a 5% trailing stop. If you ever wanted to cancel or modify this order, you simply need to right click anywhere on the order ticket. So right here, we'll go ahead and right click on 5%. And right here, we can either modify it if we wanted to maybe change the trailing stop amount or turn it into a dollar amount. Or we could say cancel order if we just wanted to outright cancel the order, which is what we're going to do in this case. We'll say OK. And the order has been canceled. Now remember, you can create the same type of order anywhere you see a positions box. So on my stocks page, if we come over here to stocks, you can see I've got a positions window on the right hand side. From here, I could do the exact same thing. I could simply right click on SWM. I could say close position. 
And from here, you can see the order entry window down here in the lower left. From here, I would do the exact same thing as before. Change this limit to a trailing stop and then set my dollar or percentage offset that I wanna use. So it's actually very easy to do this. Now you could also do it from the charts page. So if we wanted to delete this, let's pull up a chart for a second. We could also right click anywhere in the chart that we wanted to, and we could say create a new order. From here, it defaults to a single buy order, but we could switch that to a sell if we wanted to. And now we are saying we want to sell 100 shares of this stock. We could then change it to a trailing stop, and we could change this from 100 shares to one share, because remember, I only have one share of SWN in this account right now. But again, it's exactly the same as before, except this one you gotta be more careful with because the quantity does not default to the amount of shares that I have in the account. It defaults to whatever your default is. So I personally wouldn't do it this way if I was closing out an open position. I would just always go to the positions, right click on it, close position. Now, if you for some reason wanted to put a opening trailing stop on an order, let's say you only wanted to go long shares if there was a gap up by 5%, Again, I don't really see you using this. You could do it from the charts window. So we could just delete this out of here. We could come up here to the chart and right click, create a new order. We could leave it as a buy order to buy 100 shares of SWN. This time we're gonna change it from limit to trailing stop. And now we're gonna tell the system, if it ever goes up 5%, I wanna buy 100 shares of SWN. Now the reason you're doing this is you're saying, hey, if there is a gap up of 5%, I think it's gonna gap up even further than that. So I wanna go long if that ever happens. So I'll say right up front, it doesn't make sense for the vast majority of you guys to use an order type like this when you're opening up a new position. Trailing stops are almost entirely used to close out long positions or short positions you already hold in the account, not really to open up new positions. Now I know I went through that fairly quickly, but hopefully that answers all of your questions about creating trailing stops in the Webull desktop app. If I missed anything or you guys have any additional questions at all, please let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to check out some of my other Weeble tutorial videos if you found this one helpful. And also don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video.